In this video, we will show you how to use SH404 Ceph to manage URLs on your web page. So first we go to Components and SH404 Ceph in order to arrive at this control panel. The main areas to notice is the URL manager and the 404 manager as well as the title and meta manager. Let's go to the URL manager. Here is a list of current URLs. You might notice that some are not suitable for you. For example, this one has got a typo in it. So let's change it. We click on it and we will change it to manuals with an A and save and close. What will automatically happen now is that there is a redirect created for anyone going to the old URL with a typo, they will land on the new URL that does not have a typo. And let's say you've got an issue with Google having a duplicate of this page. We'll click on it again. And under aliases you can enter pages that should be redirected to it. So let's say you've got a page called ID10 and perhaps you've also got a page called ID20 that is showing up in Google searches. Now by adding them here line by line in this way, anyone who happens to go to the wrong URL will be redirected to the new URL and Google will also be informed that this is the correct URL to use. Now in the same area we can edit the meta titles, title and meta tag here, but this can also be done in the title and meta manager where you have a complete overview of the pages on the website and you can edit descriptions here in one central location. The 404 Request Manager page lists the, the erroneous URLs that people have used to come to your website. Now, we notice one here called ASF. It's only been one time. So that means that somebody, for some reason, just typed in pct.com.au slash ASF. Now, I wouldn't worry too much about that. That was obviously a mistake. However, some of the other URLs here, like news, might be a more important URL. And you can then click here to redirect it to another URL. Perhaps it needs to be redirected to the newsletters page. You then select that page and click select redirect target. It's important that there are not too many 404s on a page, on a website. And if there are any around, that they are redirected to the correct pages. On the other hand, when somebody has entered a page like ASF, they should see a 404 page because this is not a page you want to display on your website. So I hope this helps and uh, let me know if you have any further questions about how to use SH404 CEPH. One final note is that you can enable and disable SH404 Ceph from the control panel. So here we can turn it on or off as we want. So in this way you can easily revert to your previous website system.